our first loaf of bread is baked. And you can see the little bit of the Christmas tree pattern. It doesn't quite look like a Christmas tree. I'm not very good at that part. Where the wild bee wings and today we're going to be making sourdough bread. Now I have my starter all set and this is a few days pro uh, process. So yesterday I fed my starter. I'll show you what that looks like and today we're going to do all the mixing, the folding, and most of the resting and tomorrow we'll do the baking. So let's get started. All right so we have a weight scale. I'm going to turn it on and you want to make sure that it's on grams. It is. So it's zero. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out the flour because I want the flour just to be ready when I need it. So I'm going to put this back on and then I'm going to push the button again. That's called tearing. I'm going to tear it so it says zero. Now I'm going to take my white flour and I want to measure out I'm experimenting with what the, the different ratios are, but I'm gonna try 950 of all-purpose and 50 of wheat. Now, people use all kinds of flour for bread, for sourdough bread, and this is what I'm gonna be using. So I can just, I'm gonna add that. I'm emptying my little, my canister of flour and then I'm opening a new one. So, so far I have 443 grams. I don't know if you can see the numbers because all you can see is the bowl. There's flour. Come on, flour. And this is just all-purpose flour. Some of it's bleached, some of it's unbleached. It's best to use unbleached, but I didn't have any of that for a while. So now we're at 678. Eight oh eight. Whoops, that's too much. Okay, we'll do some of it back. That just came out too fast, didn't it? Okay. So we want 950 grams of flour. Nope, nope. So you want really, a, the, I'm going to be making two loaves, that's why. Normally you would want 500 grams. But since I'm making two loaves, I'm doubling it. 976. 970, 961, 957, 950. Great. Okay, so that's 950 of the white all-purpose or unbleached flour. And now I'm going to add 50 grams of the wheat flour. And I'll do that more slowly because I don't want to have to take it out once it's all mixed together. So we're just going to add it here until it reaches a thousand, which is very soon. 995. Yep, oh, perfect. A thousand grams. Okay, so we're all done with our flour now. Don't need that anymore. Right now, anyway. So we have our flour measured out. Now we have to set, tear this again, so it's zero. I, should, I, I could do it. Let me put the bowl on first. Put the bowl on and then you're gonna tear it. Come on, now it's zero. All right, so I'm going to show you what my starter looks like. Now it's been fed, so it's nice, whoops, it's nice and bubbly and I just got a mess there. So as you can see, it's nice and bubbly. It's very foamy, it's very light, and I want 200 grams of starter. So it's 100 grams per loaf of bread. So we are at, we, we're at zero so far. Now let's 
We want 200. 73. I have some starter in the refrigerator as well because you don't want to use all of it up because you want to have some for next time. It'll grow. And I've been making our I've been making bread either every week or twice a week. And it takes kind of a lot of time, but it's so delicious. And I'm just proud of myself when I make it. 98, of course. Come on, just a little bit more. Whoops, a little bit too much. Let's take it out. You want to be as precise as possible. There, 200, perfect. So it's 200 grams of that. Now what I'm going to need is 800 grams of warm water. All right, so it's 200 grams of starter and I want 800 grams of water. So I'm just gonna add this until it equals 1,000 grams. And you don't want really hot water. You want the Whoops. You want kind of lukewarm water or a little bit hot, above room temperature because you don't want it too hot. It'll kill off, it will kill off all your dough. Now I just realized that I did this, I should have put this in the bigger bowl. Oh, Gina, what am I doing? Okay, that's all right. We, we can, we can, we can change it up. All right. All right, so we have a thousand grams. Now I'm going to change up the bowls because I'm going to need the bigger bowl. So I've transferred this to the bigger bowl. It's the starter. It's 200 grams of the starter and 800 grams of the warm water. And we're just going to stir it up. And then we're gonna add all that flour that we measured. I think it's pretty well stirred up in there. It, it pretty much almost dissolves. The starter acts as like a yeast and the warm water is kind of activating it. You can see the bubbles. That's a very good sign. All right, now we have all of this wheat flour and white flour. 800 grams of flour, and we're just gonna put it in. And what I'm going to do, the best way to mix it is with your hands. So if you were to make one loaf of bread, it would be half as much as this. But I wanna make one for us and one for my um, daughter and her husband and the grandchildren. Because I made it on Monday, but we are down to about half a loaf. So I don't wanna have to make it again before next week. It's great for sandwiches. It's great for just toast. It's great when you, to serve with, with chili all sorts of things. Oh, so it's pretty wet, but you're just gonna I have to scrape it off my hands. I wanna try to scrape down the flour off the sides. Now, everyone that I've seen on YouTube that make their um, bread. They do use their hands. I suppose you could use a dough hook, but um, there's something about doing it with your hands that just feels so, so natural and so earthy that I don't mind the stickiness. Now what I'm going to do is, so we can get some of it off our hands. Let's see, turn it around. Now, as it rests, it has to rest a number of times. What happens is the gluten builds up. The airiness is going to build up. I don't know if it's technically gluten, but it's the gluten-like whatever it is. Okay. 
Hopefully I'm not moving my bowl too much. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So just incorporating the flour. This takes a lot of muscles. It takes a lot of work with your muscles because this dough is kind of heavy. Okay, I think I've got all the flour in there. I don't see any more. Do you see any flour, loose flour? No, I just see dough. Let's see, let's turn it around this way. Oh, I see a little bit of flour in there, I think. All right, so then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use that rubber scraper and to get it off of my hands, as much dough as I can. So, so far we just have pretty much flour and water and the starter. And then later we're gonna add salt and that's all we have to add to it. You just have to work it for a bit. All right, my hands are all cleaned in. I'm just going to scrape this down from the sides. And then what we're going to do is we are going to cover it with a cotton towel. You don't want terry cloth. You want a 100% cotton, cotton towel because it won't stick to the dough. But you're just going to cover your bowl, not so much cover the flour, cover the bowl, and let it rest for a whole hour. And then we'll, we'll do the next step. Okay, so there we are. That's what it looks like now. And I have a little lamp, like a desk lamp, that I'm going to plug in and I'm going to, um, I am going to put this underneath. I'll get my towel. So I like to use this cotton towel. And we're just going to, I'll set my timer and I'll see you in an hour. And again, and now we're on step two. We let the dough rest for a while, for an hour. And now we're going to measure out some water and some salt. So let's get tearing. All right, so turn your scale on. We're going to put this little container on and we're going to tear it to zero. Now we need 10 grams of salt but because we're doing two loaves we need 20 grams of salt all right so we have 20 grams of salt and now we want 20 grams of water so let's tear that again to zero it is on zero and we want 20 grams of warm water whoops too much let's try it again Let's try a little bit more. There's a little bit left in there. 21, okay. So I'll take a drop out of that and it'll be 20. All right, now we have 20 grams of salt and 20 grams of water. And here is our dough. So this is what it looks like after it's been resting, after it's been resting for an hour. And what we're going to do is we are going to I have a um, cup of a big cup of water next to me right here. And I don't know if you can see it right here. And I'm gonna dip my hands in it in just a minute because I am going to be incorporating this all over again. Thread 20 grams of salt and 20 grams of water because it's two loaves. Now I'm gonna put my hand in the water and then we're going to mix it all around. But the dough is much firmer than it was before. Just going to kind of like stir it around a little bit until you get all the, so you can't feel the salt anymore. Can you see the difference in the dough already? I hope so. You can kind of feel, you it kind of squeezed it. It's almost very, it's starting to get elasticy. Sure, we don't feel any, get any of the more salt. We don't want the granules of salt. Let's mix it up. So 
it's not sticking to my hands as much as it was. Okay. Okay. Now, when you think you're done with incorporating all the salt, what you're going to do is, you're going to get your other hand wet as well. Okay, so I have two hands wet. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this side of it and I'm gonna stretch it. You don't want it to rip. You wanna stretch it and then you're gonna fold it. And then you're gonna turn your bowl. I don't think I need my water this close. And you're gonna stretch it. Stretch, 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 stretch. And then you're gonna fold it. So this is what is going to build up that, um, the airiness in the bread. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna stretch it up. And we're gonna fold it. Turn our bowl. And you're gonna do this about eight times. You're gonna take it, honeybee. You're gonna have to wait for your lunch. Stretch, it's 11 o'clock now. She says, it's lunch time. Oh, you're gonna have to wait. Now let's turn their bowl. We're gonna stretch, I'll pay you, oh, I'll pay you. <laughs> I'll pay you to stop doing that. No, I will feed you in just a moment. Okay, that was, I lost count how many times that was. So we're gonna stretch it. Fold. Stretch it. And fold. Boy, this makes your arms tired, because this dough is kind of heavy. Okay, stretch and fold. There, I think we're done with that. And now what we're going to do is we are going to oops, we're going to pick it up and we're going to turn it entirely over. If we can get it out of the bowl, this thing's heavy. Come on, stop sticking. And then we're going to kind of turn it, turn it over. <laughs> That's a mess. <laughs> Trust me, it's gonna be fine. I didn't get it entirely turned over, it's the best I could do. And now what we're going to do is get some of the dough off our fingers and then we're going to, I'm gonna get my hand wet again. And then we're gonna kinda of tuck, tuck the edges down. Tuck it down, we're gonna kinda of scrape the side. See if we can get this off of our fingers. And what we're going to do is we're going to do that two more times. So a total of three times of this. And it will be it will be resting an hour in between each time. Okay. Let's see if we can tuck the edges under. It's not perfect, it's okay. There's really it's really fine. It's kind of hard to tuck it without getting it stuck to you. So there we go. Let's see if I can get this off my fingers and then I'll wash my hands. I'm going to, now I'm going to cover it for another hour. We're going to let it rest and let it rise under the lamp for another hour. And then we're going to do more um, stretching and folding, but we're not going to add any more salt or water. The dough has rested for an hour. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up. We're gonna get our hands wet. We're gonna pick it up and turn it over and then we're gonna fold it again. So let's just go around the edges. Actually, we can fold it first, then we'll turn it over. So we're gonna do it eight times. We're gonna go stretch and fold. That's one, stretch and fold. That's two, stretch and fold. That's three, it's walking away from me. Okay, that stretch and fold. That's four, stretch and 
fold. This is number six. Ooh, stretch and fold. Number seven. We'll do it one more time. Stretch. Whoops. Stretch and fold. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up and turn it over completely and we're going to tuck it under and then we're going to do it let it rest for an hour and then we're going to do it one more time and then rest for another hour so let's see if we can get it to come all the way out it's kind of true oh, it did yay okay we're going to turn it back on it turn it completely over and then we're just going to tuck it in like this then we're going to cover it with the cloth and let it rest for another hour We'll see you in an hour. All right, we've let this rest. It's been a little more than an hour and let's take off its towel. Now you can see it's quite a bit different and you can see bubbles. There are bubbles on the top. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do what they call the pre-shape. And I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. And I'm going to, on my counter's clean, I'm going to put a little bit of flour. And then what we're gonna do is pull our hands. We're going to let's see if whoops, you know what, let's get our hands a little wet. Just to get our fingertips wet so we can take it out. flower down yet first but that's okay it doesn't matter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up from the middle and as I pick it up it's going to fold the corner is going to fold that way and then that corner is going to hopefully fold ah I see so much dough ah okay Ugh. it's going to fold over on top of itself like that Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick it up from the middle and then we're going to let it fold itself underneath. I have to help it because that part is, but this part's not. Come on now. There. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna pick it up, and as we pick it up, see, what I need is a glass bowl because it shouldn't be picking up this whole, there, there, yay, it did it. Okay, so you're gonna fold it underneath like that. You're just folding it underneath. I'm gonna pick it up, you're gonna do it about six times. You're gonna pick it up, come on now. Because the problem is my bowl's too lightweight. You're gonna fold it under like that. Does that make sense what I'm doing? I know it's hard to see because my bowl keeps lifting up. So you're gonna go around the middle and you're gonna pick it up. There, and now it's gonna fold. The edges are gonna fold that way. Fold and fold. We did it. Finally got it not sticking to my bowl. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. Then you're going to, see this is why you want to go a glass bowl, because it's not going to pick up like this plastic one. There. I think I hope I'm going to see if Santa will bring me one. Okay, there's one there. Let's try it one more time. So we're going to pick it up, and so your bowl shouldn't be picking up like that. It's just because it's plastic. Okay, there. So we folded, we folded them under, under, under. That makes any sense. 
Okay, now what we're going to do, see, this is why I don't teach classes in this. Okay, now we've got this flowered, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up, and then we're gonna put it like that. Look how beautiful that is. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour, just a little bit. Of course, I'm all like, I'm all like dust, I'm all gooped up now. Okay, just put a little bit of flour on there, just a little bit, not a lot. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn over. Let's see if I can get some of this dough off my hands. We're gonna turn it over. Let's stick that together. We're going to get our, this is called a bench scraper. So we're gonna take our bench scraper and we're gonna flip this guy over. Oh, yay, we did it. Now what I'm gonna do is, because I am gonna make two loaves, I'm gonna cut it in half. So I can get the salt in this, what am I saying? Let's get flour on this, I'm gonna cut it in, cut it in half. There, okay. Now I've got two separate loaves here. Put a little bit more flour down since we had to to do that and what we're going to do is we're going to treat it the same way but we're going to do it separately so this is the the front is toward me it doesn't help that I have dough on myself and I'm going to go like this I'm just going to twist it like this and pull it to myself I'm not really moving forward I'm just bringing this together To move this over more. There. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. Let's put a little more flour in here. When I cut it in half, it kind of wanted to do its own thing. Okay. So there. We have our little, our loaf of bread. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. Put a little bit more flour there. We're gonna take it from the back and we're gonna move it forward. Take it from the back and move it forward. Take it from the back and move it forward. Take it from the back and move it forward. Take it from the back. Take from the back. Scoop it like that. So it's not really sticking to the counter. We're just making it nice and nice and round. A little bit more flour in my hands. See the edges are nice and nice and not gooey, but when I cut it in half, I think it's gonna like gooey. So here we are. So this is called the pre-shape. Now what we're gonna do is, I'll move this one a little closer because we don't need it so far away. All right. You just do that so you're comfortable that it's, that the edges are, edges are round like that. Now it's going to, now we're gonna put a little more flour on it. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it with the cotton towel and you don't wanna use terry cloth, you wanna just use a little, just a cotton towel because then it's gonna relax. For about 30 to 40 minutes, we want it, the dough to relax now. Whoops, that's my directions. Here we are, so we're gonna cover it up just like that for 30 to 40 minutes, and then 
we will put it in our proofing basket after we do more fancy things to it. Okay, I'll see you in about 40 minutes. Hello, we're back again. And what we're going to do is, this has been resting about 40 minutes, and you can see how it's flattened out some, and we want that to happen. And we're going to use our cloth again in a minute, but first, before we do anything with the dough, we're going to do something with our proofing basket. So this basket is made of a special material. I'll try to insert what it is um, on the screen. And it has like a, a cotton liner that you can wash. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some flour to here because this is our proofing baskets. This is what they're gonna sit in all night long and in the refrigerator and rise. So here we are, put that in there. And so you wanna make sure that's floured so, that, so it doesn't stick. Oh, we have one more. Thankfully I have two of these because I'm doing two loaves of bread. So I'm just gonna make sure that's lightly, lightly with some flour. Okay, now what we're going to do is, I'm gonna put a little bit of flour in my hands. We're going to turn these completely over again. Okay, we're going to turn it over. There. All right, if it loses its shape a little bit, that's okay. I think we'll do one at a time, that's what we'll do. So we have this one, hopefully you can see it. Don't worry, I'm hesitant to move my screen. There, okay. And what we're going to do now is we're gonna put a little bit more flour on, and then we're gonna wrap it like a present. So you're gonna go at 12 o'clock, and you're going to, you're not so much stretch it, you're just gonna fold it over here, and then you're gonna take three o'clock, and you're gonna fold it in. You're gonna take six o'clock, and you're gonna fold it in. You're going to take nine o'clock, which hopefully isn't connecting to that, and you're gonna fold it in. And then you're gonna take this side, and you're gonna fold it in. You're gonna take this side, and you're gonna fold it in, just like you're wrapping a present. You're gonna fold it in, and then we're gonna fold it in. And then we're going to put it in the basket, just like that. So now it's in my basket, and I want to just kind of pinch at the, the folds if they didn't already stick together. Because you don't want, you want it to just rise without any of the folds if you can. Those little dimples should be fine. Okay, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more flour on and it's ready to go in the refrigerator covered with the cloth. And it will rise while it's in there. That's called proofing it. Here we are. Now we're gonna do this one. See if I can move it over. Put a little flour. We're gonna turn it completely over. Let's see if we can pick it up. And I'm going to take it all the way over like that. Just right. Okay. Now we're going to take a little bit more flour. Whoops. Now we're going to wrap it like we did before. We're going to take this side, 12 o'clock. We're going to take 3 o'clock. We're gonna take six o'clock. We're gonna take nine o'clock. And then we're gonna take this side and we're gonna put it over like that. This side, we're gonna put it over like that. Put this side over like that. This side over like that. There, okay. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna put it 
into the basket. Okay, whoops, it's sticking to me a little bit. Let's see if we can pinch all the little folds so it's they're not as prominent. Now we're going to proof them in our refrigerator for at least 14 hours. So we have to bake it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We've done most of the work already. The rest of it is going to be much easier. Okay. But as you can see, it's quite time consuming. There's a little pinchy part. Okay, we're gonna put a little bit more flour on top. You just want a little bit. I've got some flour on the counter I can use. Now this loaf looks a little bit bigger than the other one. This basket is a little bigger than the other one, and I think this loaf, I'm not very good at cutting it exactly in half, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just gonna take a little bit more of the flour and just kind of sprinkle it on. And there you go. Now I'm gonna put them in my refrigerator, just like that, with the cloth covering this, and I will see you in the morning. Now we're on to the next day. It's time to bake. Now you can see that the bread rose quite a bit while it was proofing in the refrigerator for 14 plus hours. Now I have a piece of parchment paper, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop it out. Yay! See, it came out very nicely. It didn't stick to the basket at all. And there's our bread. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to use a bread lom, which is pretty much a razor on the stick. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make some slashes. There's an air bubble there. We're gonna make some slashes and we're not gonna make them too deep, but we're gonna make them you can make whatever design you like. I was gonna try and make a, a Christmas tree. I'm not very good at this yet. I've only done this, this is my, I think this is my third bake, maybe my fourth bake. So I want to make this, these are the, the branches of the pine tree. I'm gonna make a little tiny star. I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna look like a star, but we'll try it. All right, and then you can do like a little, you could do a little design here. You could do a little design here. There's all sorts of wonderful designs you can make once you know how. So that is my bread, and I'm waiting for the, the pan my baking, my big cast iron baking dish has been preheating in the oven for at 500 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, half an hour or so. And I'm gonna move this over for a minute and then I'm gonna put the hot pan here. So my pan has a lid, it's very he heavy, cast iron. What I'm going to do is, see if I can move this over a little bit. I'm gonna put the parchment paper with the bread in it right in there, and then I'm gonna trim the paper.
Okay. So now we have our paper trimmed. The bread's in the, in the pan. We're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna put it in the oven. Just like, just like that. See? And we're going to bake this for 25 minutes at 500 degrees. Are done with our baking our first loaf of bread. Isn't it beautiful? It has a light golden kind of caramel color and I tapped it on the bottom of it, the bread and it sounds, I think it sounds hollow, but also you can you can use a thermometer and if it's over 200 degrees then it's baked and it was. So it's all done. Now I just have to let it cool. And my, uh, my second loaf is in the oven now. And I'll take a picture of both of them together and put it on my community page so I can get to editing these videos and putting it all together for you. So I hope that you enjoyed my sourdough baking journey. And it's so delicious, it really does. It's not that much of a looker. I need to work more on my, my razor skills, but it, it smells wonderfully and it tastes even better. So thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd be so blessed if you did. And God bless you this day. Bye-bye.